Traveling with the Responsible Safari Company is something very unique. It's, it's very different to what is operated by a lot of other companies. It really is seeing the country and the people and the communities. It is far more of an experience than just travel. Last year I saw a documentary, basically a school who had raised up funds um, to come to Malawi and to build a school and to give out backpacks to the local school children and I just kind of instantly wanted to do something personally. As I reflected a bit more on it, I thought to myself, do you know what, we've got great kids, we've got great support back home, we could do this. I found three companies, one of which was the Responsible Safari Company and Dom got back to me the next day saying to me, we can do exactly what you want on the budget, no problem at all. Quite often we have groups that come out and they've already linked with the school, but often as well people don't know what they want to do and they want to do, for example, a community build like the Noon School. So we created three presentations so the students could choose which project they really wanted to get involved with. Each project had its benefits, and, but it would have a very different experience, both for the students and the community. CISA stands for Community Initiative for Safe Reliance. The whole idea is to empower the rural community, economically and with the knowledge. You know, empowerment without knowledge is not power. I really wanted them to choose Joseph's project. It was wonderful that they wanted to take on such a big challenge. RST is very, very important to CISA. They're linking our organisation to other like-minded people. I just thought it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity really. We get to meet everyone here and really see what the impact is that we have on them. The idea of a medical centre when kids have to go 45 kilometres in either direction to get medical treatment or underneath a tree for their inoculations just felt really kind of worthwhile. The people are amazing and very friendly. The kids are great, they're all running around all happy. You've got kids who have real serious health issues and their, their medical centres are tree um, and because of the impact of kids from Scotland fundraising and coming you know we've got something behind us that's a huge difference. A lot of money to try and collect all together in under a year. I had a quiz night at my local pub. I did a sponsored swim with Lake Malawi so I swam the whole total distance like over a, a number of months and eventually I reached the total it was about 560 kilometres started off by doing a fashion show. I raised about a thousand pounds. A lot of hard work. Hard work goes into it and you have to be dedicated to doing it. You can't just start and then give up. And, but it's really worth doing it all to get to this point. We, we asked, you know, we're raising over 60,000 pounds and that in itself could have a huge impact. But it's about sustainability that it's worth spending the money on coming here because you see what this money has done and you see the good that it will do for the future and you can take this back home and encourage more people to come and experience this. The atmosphere is completely electric. I think they're bonding well. You can see the whole, a lot of the communities here, the villages here. So it's just been awesome. Well, the kids around seven or eight are coming to help you know, they weren't actually coming for fun, they were coming to help and there was one boy I can think of who I thought he's never going to move that wheelbarrow, he's never going to manage it. And for the rest of the afternoon that wheelbarrow was moved and it was only him and he was really proud, he was very proud. Um, and he'll be able to look at what he's done here in 10 years time and know that he's been part of it. People are just so friendly and the landscape's so beautiful. The safari in Mumbo Island, they're just breathtaking scenery. It's just the most beautiful country, gorgeous, and the people in it mirror that perfectly. The benefits of coming here as a school group is that you're in a really safe environment to do the work. You're with your friends and you get to share something, not just with a few people, but with people that you see every day. You feel quite comforted, and I feel I'm a lot closer to these people as well. And the teachers I feel a lot closer to as well now as a result of the experience. If you come over to Malawi, you get involved in a project, you help doing the project, and then you go back home. That's your lifetime experience that is going to stay and stick to you for the rest of your life.
It's just been completely mind blown. Everything's been such an amazing experience to actually try loads of different things. So I've really enjoyed it. I spoke to a pupil today and just to ask him how he found it and he said that it's been the best experience of his life. And I think really as a teacher, you can ask for more. On the last day, we handed over our build to the community and we, I don't know, it was celebrating this achievement. The Scottish pupils played the pipes and did Highland dancing and sang Old Lang Syne, which was great and emotional again. Sorry, I'm just making a total mess. As normal people, we can, we can make small changes. It's a significant thing for these people to have proper medical facilities. We can't rely on people in power to do the right thing. I just feel extremely proud 